Good morning, everybody. As the house with SPS back in the building. Morning, Michelle. How are you? I appreciate you. I said, let me uh, make sure I'm getting in at the right time. Up already getting some things done. You know how time can get by you. Uh, <laughs> Had an awesome weekend, restful weekend. Um, looking forward to getting back to uh, a positive week. And uh, hopefully these words can help you all along the way. Got a few people I want to shout out today. I know they'll be stepping in possibly a little later. I know it's a big weekend in basketball, not just with the NCAA. Uh, Michigan going on to the Elite Eight. I know people, uh, whether you're a Michigan or a Michigan State fan, it's a good chance you still may be rooting for Michigan. Some people look at it differently. Uh, I want to wish them all the best. But also in high school basketball, a lot of district championships were played. Shout out to King High School. I had Coach George Ward on with me uh, last week, and it was a really, really great uh, interview. Uh, touched on a lot of subjects. want to wish him the best. They defeated another SPS team of the week I've been following for some time. That is the Hamtramck Cosmos with Coach Dennis Foster. Also want to shout out here in Lansing, uh, Everett High School. I had Coach Treshawn Adams on some time ago. Uh, he's a first-year head coach. He's been a longtime assistant coach under Casey Keaton over there. And uh, they lost to the uh, Holt Rams um, in a district championship. I know it was tight. A lot of other district championships were played. Shout out to East Lansing and their success. Uh, shout out uh, to Waverly. I know it was a rough time for Rod Watts. That's my guy. Got to get Rod on soon. Just a lot of games that were played and lost. So what is today's – you know, Monday motivation, it's finding the good and the bad. I know it's easier said than done because when you lose, man, whether it's losing a game, uh, a relationship that ends, you know, uh, things not going your way, you're not getting the promotion you wanted, the job you wanted. Maybe you didn't lose a game. Maybe your team won, but maybe you're at a point in your career with your team that you're not getting the playing time you think you would want. There are so many things that can be considered bad, and I'm not here to take away – or judge what you consider bad. Your bad is your bad. Let's just leave it at that. It's not for me to say uh, what's good, what's bad, but I just want us to focus on being able to find the good and the bad. And I'm even speaking to myself through my own personal uh, experiences. You know, uh, research has shown that our brains evolved to react much more strongly to the negative experiences, to the positive ones. Uh, it, it helped keep, keep us safe from danger. So if you really want to go back, I mean, this is going back way before all of our time, talking about the beginning of time, We're talking about during the caveman days. Lindsay, what are you talking about caveman? Yes, that's right. During the caveman days, it was one of those, you would hear a loud noise outside the cave and you had to say, do I stay in the cave? Because I hear this loud noise, which is probably homeboy right here, <laughs> real talk. If you want to uh, believe uh, what science has said about the dinosaurs that roam the earth, but in all seriousness, it was either stay in the cave because you heard him out there and he looking to eat you up or go out there and fend and fight for your family. So our wiring in our brain literally goes back to those days. Even as we evolved, when you got to times when we were living on the high plains and there would be tornadoes that can just wreak destruction because, you know, society hasn't been built up to be able to withstand those things. They can still argue that, you know, uh, there's no man-made, uh, thing that we can create that can stop a tornado or a natural disaster. But what I'm getting at is that we were wired to have what some would call a negativity bias. A negativity bias. That's right. I'll leave that up there for a second. Because in modern days where physical danger is a little bit more minimal, it often just gets in the way. Yeah, I mean, you know, you hear loud noise. There are certain things you have to protect you from that, whatever that loud, loud noise may be whether it's a weapon you have, whether it's the security system you have at your home, whether it's your 
you know, you can look outside and see, oh, that was just a car backfiring or whatever it may be. But our brains, folks, our brains are wired to have a negativity bias. So if you just went through a relationship change, if you didn't get that promotion on your job or have something going on, or like a lot of my guys out here who may have lost in the district championship, I know, I know a lot of you are thinking about every single play. You think about everything that happened, all those things. And then shout out to those who won. Shout out to my guy, Kevin, you know, uh, Marshall up at Bridgeport. Them guys won that district championship. Good job. Job well done. I know there are a number of other people who won as well, and I want to send congratulations to you. But I want to talk about that negativity bias and how we have to be able to find the positivity and find the good and the negative. Positive thinking does not necessarily mean you're avoiding or ignoring the bad things. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say you got to have this feel good all the time feeling. No, the bad things are there. Talk to my clients all the time that I work with through sports psychology that we have to work on letting those things pass through. But instead, it involves making the most of a potentially bad situation, trying to see the best in other people and viewing yourself and your abilities in a positive light. My guy, Treshawn Adams, the coach over at uh, Everett did really good. Treshawn and I sat down uh, over the summer. Look at him, that great smile. You know, uh, that's the way I like to see Treshawn. You know, I don't, I don't like him seeing him like this. I don't like that look. You know, I hope he's not feeling that way. And I joke with Treshawn because he's a good guy. I know he'll probably laugh at too, that too. But this is that, you know, relationship is over face. We don't want that. We want this face right here, Trey. We want to keep you like that. And also to my guy, uh, Dennis Foster, you know, sitting down with him. And he's done a great job. You see in the background, they were cutting down the nets, you know, based on uh, them uh, having some success over at Hamtramck. And talk about success. This is a program, man, that you got to put some respect on Hamtramck's name. Everybody was checking for Hamtramck. Everybody was watching out for him. Young Keith Tate in the building. See, I'm shouting out your guy, Trey Sean. Keith, keys to the new crib tape. That guy get you straight. Keith, you know, I'm just trying to say you got to find the good and the bad, man. You got to be able to find the good and the bad. I appreciate you, man, checking in as well as uh, Michelle for sending the good mornings as well. But what I would want you guys to focus on and think about, whether it's Treshawn at Everett with all the things that you've accomplished. And Treshawn did a really good job on this uh, Facebook. Just listen to all the things they overcame. They overcame a COVID shutdown. To my guy, Jody Clemens point, we were working out playing ball last night. Keith, we missed you last night getting them runs in. Uh, I know Cuddy mad at me because I was talking a lot of trash because he wasn't scoring like he normally does. But anyway, here's the thing. You know, Everett didn't even have a fall season. They didn't even get to play football, you know. So they overcame so much. They overcame a COVID shutdown. Trey Sean is a first-year head coach. And even with all that, they were able to have success. You know, no, you got to find – that's right. You got to find the lesson. You're right, Keith. I appreciate you chiming in. Shout out to my guy, Kevin Marshall. Kevin, I was just shouting you out, congratulating you in the Bridgeport Bearcats. Uh, shout out to guy Jalen Hodges leading the way, doing a good job, but trying to get these guys to find the good and the bad. You have to be able to do that, whether it's in a relationship or whatever it may be. And I was just shouting out to Everett Vikings. I was just shouting out to Ham Tramming Cosmos because they fell short of the goals they set. But man, did they have a good run? Man, did they have people on the edge? And I know sometimes you don't want to hear that because you wanted that trophy. You wanted that hardware. I get it. Sometimes you want that promotion on your job. Sometimes you wanted that relationship to work out. But for whatever reason, it didn't. But you got to find the good and the bad. Did you become a better person because of that? You know, did you get something out of it? And so many times because of how we are wired, going back to caveman days, we focus on the negativity. But I'm here to tell you so many other things that we can look at, you know, uh, Again, instead of doing that, we got to think about the potential bad situation, then try to see the best of other people and also look at things in a positive light. Can you do that? Can you embrace the good? You earn those positive moments, folks. You own them. They're yours. All the positive things you experience. Go back through a relationship that may not work out. It's easy to talk about what was me, the relationship didn't work out. But, man, go back and have a highlight reel in your brain about the fun times. Have a highlight reel in your brain about the things you did that excited you about that relationship. Let's go back to that job. Let's say you didn't get the job you wanted. Go back to how you felt when you were interviewing and preparing and you were excited about what could happen, about the possibilities. And it may not have worked out there, but who's to say it's not going to work out somewhere else? You have to embrace the positivity. Embrace the good. You've earned those positive moments. You own them. Those are yours. 
Nobody can take that away from you in a relationship. Nobody can take that away from you in experience you had coaching your team to get to success. Nobody can take those away. And if you don't embrace those, if you don't hold on to those, if you don't make that YouTube highlight reel in your brain, they'll be off or not. They'll be gone. Yeah, I know you had a goal. I know you you had heartbreak. I know, man. But who are you to say that you're not going to get it? Let's talk about this one. Here's one that speaks to that right here. Here's one that speaks to that. Happiness comes in waves. It'll find you again. That's by Melinda Jean Claude. Happiness comes in waves, folks. It will find you again. Check out the comments. You know, I appreciate you, brother Span. Good stuff. I appreciate you. Tamara, appreciate you too checking in. Time does help. They say time heals all wounds. Tamara, I appreciate you. I know you guys are having some success in the program as well. Congratulations uh, to what you guys had going on. But you're absolutely right. And easier said than done. Because as humans, what do we want? We want what we want when we want it. I'll say it again. We want what we want when we want it. Those teams that were preparing for that district championship, oh, man, you wanted a victory. You could taste it. You wanted that feeling. And it was going to be so fulfilling. But guess what? Life doesn't always happen like that. We don't get it the times that we want to get it. And in all fairness, in all fairness, and Coach Izzo was quick to say this, hey, everybody went through, but it was a COVID year. You had some different challenges. I know for Everett, it came down to a last second shot. I know some things happened between Oak Park and UAD came down to a last second, some say controversial shot, but you cannot take away what you accomplished. You cannot take away what got you to that point. And I know for some of the guys and girls as well, it may be the end of their year. I know uh, Edison girls, shout out to Coach Monique Brown, they're done because of COVID. They're done. They're not even going to get a chance to defend their state championship, which would have won, I believe, if not three, four championships in a row. So to that senior that's moving on, I know it may be hard, but there are going to be other opportunities. Here, don't let the bad times win. You have to find the good and the bad. You cannot let the bad times win. And as a choice, remember what I said at the top of this presentation, man, you know, going back to these caveman days, we are wired to have a negativity bias because when we heard that loud noise outside the cave, it was either a dinosaur was waiting on us to kill us or we had to go out there and find some food. So we have been wired to do those things, but over time we have progressed. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind as you go out uh, throughout your day to day, as you go out throughout your week, whatever you may be going through. And uh, sometimes we just drawn to some negativity. Like I said earlier, there's this negativity bias that we have that we're drawn to, but I just want you to keep in mind, you want to look at focusing on moving on and not just moving forward. It's easy to say, oh man, just move on, but it's hard. Moving on from a relationship you were emotionally attached to and you felt good about, you had promise about the future. It's hard. So instead of saying moving on, let's say we can move forward. Words are important. I say that all the time because pain is nature's tough love. It passes through. Let it pass through. That's Melinda Jean Claude again. Pain is nature's tough love. Some of you may say, Lindsay, I ain't trying to hear that right now because I'm hurting. I didn't get what I wanted, man. I was just so ready for it. It just... It's just bad the way it happened. Somebody did something. I got wrong. I'm not saying you didn't. I'm not here to judge your pain. I'm not here to judge your loss, but I'm trying to help you move forward, not move on, not leave it and leave it there because you were emotionally attached to it. It's playing in your mind. It's it, it, You hear about it. When you see people, it reminds you of it, but I'm trying to help you move forward. That's right. Move forward to get through it. With that being said, pain is nature's way. Of tough love you know pain is nature's tough love yeah i know we don't want to hear that at times but sometimes we got to be reminded of that so all i want to say to you guys today on this monday motivation if you're overcoming something if you went through a bad time you experienced i want you to find the good and the bad trey adams over there ever find the good and the bad my guy dj foster over there at ham trying to find the good and the bad uh my guy rod watts over there at uh, Waverly, find the good and the bad. Whoever else is dealing with something, find the good and the bad. And if it's a relationship, think about the good times in a relationship. Think about the times you enjoy that can keep you in a positive light, no matter how it transcended or how it ended. If it's a job that you didn't get, think about how good you felt preparing yourself for and how much you felt you were ready because there's something else for you. So many times what we want, we don't get it when we want it, but it doesn't mean the opportunity isn't going to be there. But if you can stay in a positive state of mind, if you can be that player that got moved up from JV to varsity, and even though you may not play, you're still clapping it up on the bench. You're still encouraging your team. If you're a parent, if you're a parent of a kid that got moved up, be cool. Chill out. 
All it takes is that player being ready and they get their number call and they got to get out there and play and be ready. Before you go out there advocating and building a campaign about play my daughter, play my son, make sure your daughter or son is ready when the whistle goes or when the coach looks at them and say, I need you to step up right now. Look at the University of Michigan. Look at Brandon John Jr., you know, uh, East Lansing uh, native. Uh, he was kind of, you know, falling to the backside. But just like that, with the unfortunate injury of Isaiah Livers, he's come on. He's out there. He's a significant part of winning, and it's a great story to tell, not just in sports and life. You stay ready, you don't got to be ready. Can you still be working on yourself, working on your craft when you don't get the outcome you want? Can you still find the good in the back? Can you still get up every day and get those shots up? Can you still get up every day and work on your craft? Can you still get every day and make sure that you're ready for that next opportunity and promotion that comes? Can you still get up every day and still have love in your heart, even though your heart may be broken? You may say, I'm not setting myself up for that again. I'm not being vulnerable. Don't do that. That's why you got to get you to move forward. I'm not saying to move on. Move forward. Don't do that. Put yourself in a position that you can still be loving and caring. Put yourself in a position that you can still be ready to play. Put yourself in a position that you can be ready for the next opportunity that presents yourself at a job or if you're an entrepreneur that's out there. Find the good and the bad, folks, because we are wired with a negativity bias. You can't help it. If you just sit, you will automatically go to the negative. So you have to be proactive. And as I say, it's like flipping a big switch at the carnival. Ugh. You got to flip that switch to the positivity spark. It's like getting out of bed when it's raining. You don't want to do it. I know it's not easy. I know it's not. But I'm hoping this Monday motivation can encourage you guys with that. So with that, I want to wish you guys a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year, just a great life. And I hope this could be a blessing to you guys. Uh, thank you guys for all of your support. I want to wish you all the best going forward. Find the good and the bad, and you'll be there. I'm looking at this last comment, which is from my guy, Kevin Marshall. What Ke Coach Marshall say? To my coaches, I know y'all feeling two years ago, we was 22-0 and 0 and took a heartbreaking loss. I was devastated for months, and then I got refocused and made it grind, made my grind even harder. Right there. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. He said, either to the, I, I remember that, Coach. Y'all was on y'all way. Y'all was running, running, running. Y'all was running, 22 and 0. You know, coach was just tasting the bread and he was tasting all that. Heartbreaking loss. His heart got broke. Whether it's relationship, whether it's playing ball. He said he was devastated for months, but he got refocused and he made it. Yes, sir. I appreciate you sharing that, Kevin. People need to hear that. I remember that run. I remember that run. I remember that run. I was hurting for you. You were so emotionally invested. You said, this is it. It's going down. And heartbreak comes. But if you know Kevin Marshall, you know he got that love in his heart for the game. He got that love in the heart for the young people. And, and this is life. And this is what we got to go through, man. We're going to get knocked down. We're going to have the rug pulled from up under us. We're going to have our hearts broken. But you got to keep coming. No, you're welcome, fam. You Thank you. No, thank you for sharing. Thank you for being vulnerable enough and sharing. And he said to his coaches out there, yeah, I don't want to hear, but that man is telling you. Because when it come down to us winning, oh, it's all to the good. But them losses come. Solomon, keep grinding. We was 1-18 two years ago this year, district champs. Trust the process. Come on, Span. Come on, tell them. Speak on it. Hope y'all stick around to hit it. He said, keep grinding. Was 1-18 two years ago. This year, they district champs. District champs. Shout out to King. Nothing but love. These are real stories. You can't be out here. Thinking you go just compete and just win, you got to better take the heartache too, man. God makes us stronger through our adversity. Absolutely right. You gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta go within. God makes us strong. You absolutely right through our adversity. We may not like it, may not want it, but we need it. So I want to thank Brother Span. I want to thank Brother Marshall. Two great coaches. I did great things. Sharing district champs, sharing their stories. They champions now, but they failed at one point. They champions now, but they won always champions. Treshawn, number love to you, brother. Keep it going. Great first year. DJ Foster, number love for you, brother. Keep it going, man. Put some respect on Ham Chamek's name. They checking for y'all now. You know? Until everyone out there, just keep a positive attitude. Don't be afraid to love again. Don't be afraid to be ambitious and go for a new opportunity. Don't let a no or a rejection shut you down. Find the good and the bad. You earn those great opportunities. Hold on to that. So with that, you guys have a great day. I'm going to get on up out of here, man. I appreciate the love and support and uh, many blessings to all you guys. And we'll see you guys next time.
Be blessed too, brother. Be blessed. Thank you, brother Marshall. See you guys. Peace.